It's absolutely pathetic that I have to make a video like this. This is a simple scenario where as it would also be very pathetic for a Portland Trailblazer fan making a video about this regarding uh, Damian Dillard or an Indiana Pacer fan uh, you know making a video about this related to Paul George and so on and so forth and so on and so forth. If someone were to make a video like this for those players uh, regarding that team, it would make no sense. Just as me making this video for Jimmy Butler, it makes no sense. Why? Because I never in my life would think that I would ever have to make a video regarding the possibility of our leader of our team, if you will. Of course we got Pau Gasol, Derrick Rose, but our all-star who just signed a huge contract this year thinking that he would stay with our team for multiple years to make a video thinking and even talking about the fact that he might not be for the with the Chicago Bulls next year. Pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. How many game winners did this man get this year? He just had one against Indiana. Before he played Indiana at the time, before he destroyed it. You know, against Minnesota this year. And just so many teams. Well, I'm 40 something points at a half against the Toronto Raptors? How much has Jimmy Butler done for us this season? He was an all-star this year. He absolutely killed it. He was so close to being a starter. This man literally did so much. He evolved his game to a whole new level. His defense is amazing. And now, the Chicago Bulls management has the nerves to say that they are possibly intending to trade Jimmy Butler, they're gonna open him up for trade talks with teams like the Boston Celtics, and then, you know, this one is really emerging, the Orlando Magic. Pathetic. I made a video ranting about the Bulls, about their management, how they never make moves. They never ever make moves, and they haven't made moves in the past four to five years. When all these players like Omar Rashid gets traded, Marco Bellinelli gets traded, you see all these players leaving the Bulls, but nobody entering the Bulls. The Bulls don't make no moves. They didn't make no moves during free agency. They had the chance, they didn't do they didn't do nothing. They wanted to stay with this team. How'd it go? How's it working? We're trying to fight for the eighth seed right now. We're trying to fight for the eighth seed right now. We're not even in the playoff run, right, bro? This is horrible. We're not even in the 8th seed. And to make it worse, this management is actually considering training Jimmy Butler and rebuilding this team from scratch? Bruh! pagasol has gone. pagasol has gone. If you a Bulls fan watching this video, pagasol has gone. Why in the earth, of the living earth of the world, would Pau Gasol, who's killing it right now in terms of his stats, why would he stay with this Chicago Bulls team when they're trying to trade the one piece that would actually keep him to stay? Derrick Rose is obviously there, but I'm saying if you're going to trade Jimmy Butler, who's probably leading our team in points right now, he's destroying it, and you're going to get rid of this man and oh baby, look at that save right there. How are you going to try to trade Jimmy Butler? Absolutely pathetic, bro. Absolutely pathetic. This management team needs to go. Get rid of the Chicago Bulls management. They don't want to make moves. You're not supposed to build around coaches. Butler doesn't fit in, in Hoiberg's vision. What? You ain't supposed to build around coaches. You're supposed to build around players. Around players. Jimmy Butler, bro. You think I, it's like it's like a dude making a video for Portland. You know, they're, they're trying to trade Damian Lillard. What? That makes no sense. That makes no sense. You're trying to trade Paul George. That makes no sense. Pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. What are the Bulls got to do? This is what they got to do. They got to get rid of management. Haven't made a trade in four to five years. Kyle Korver, amazing player, leaves the Bulls. Marco Bellinelli, amazing player, leaves the Bulls. I can go on and on and on and on. All these players leave the Bulls. It's just messed up. It's pathetic. We're not even in the eighth seed. Two years ago, three years ago, with an injured Derrick Rose, not even in the season, not even playing, with Nate Robinson leaning the point guard position, this team was first in the East. Absolutely pathetic. I'm just mad, bro. I don't rant a lot, but the fact that you look I was mad when you when, when I was talking about free agency bro how we don't sign nobody but the fact that you're trying to trade Jimmy Butler Jimmy Butler dog arguably top three shooting guard in the league if not number one that's just pathetic bro I don't look I'm not trying to brag about the Bulls or anything I got nothing to brag about this team 
trying to trade Jimmy Butler. That's not right. Like this video. I'm tagging the Chicago Bulls. They got to see this. This is messed up. I'm a diehard Chicago Bulls fan. I watch every single game. I try my best to. Even with a 14-hour day schedule going to school from 8 a.m. coming back home at 8.30 p.m. I try my best to watch this game. Even when I'm in Canada watching a Toronto Raptors game against the OKC Thunder, I'm still on my phone with their free Wi-Fi checking up on my Bulls. Checking up on my Bulls. That's a concern I have about this team. Don't think for a moment I'm not a Bulls fan. I'm a diehard Bulls fan. And the fact that they're even considering trading uh, Jimmy Butler, this has to be seen. And the Bulls organization and this, this management needs to see this, bro. Because if nobody's going to voice their opinion from Chicago, somebody has to. And right now, since we're probably one of the largest YouTube channels in Chicago, repping the Chicago Bulls on a day in and day out basis, just check out my last Chicago Derrick Rose video. You ain't going to see nobody a bigger Derrick Rose fan than me, you know, being, you know, just repping him so badly, being happy every time he makes a lap, even when he misses, bro. Pathetic. Chicago Bulls management absolutely messed up trying to trade Jimmy Bowler. This is messed up, bro.